what's good guys welcome back to ron's rise welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video now listen i came across this article that was written um as of i guess posting this video would be what four days ago february 19th of 2021 and it is by 247wallstreet.com written by douglas mcintyre and this was not decided by me again to clarify not decided by me but by you and not necessarily you but consumer reports all right, so um, Douglas decided to do a article on what is the worst ranked car brand in America. And if you see the pictures, if you saw the thumbnail, you already know what we're talking about here. Um, yeah, I guess Alfa Romeo got rated the worst car brand in America, according to Consumer Report. Now, when Consumer Report asks why they pick one car above another, um, several factors are almost always present. Often at the top of the list is price but there's also gas mileage is often another one. So Douglas said that the conversation had moved quickly to feature what people want and overarching all of this, however, was if a car was considered to be well-made. Reliability and quality was a big factor here. And Douglas says the Consumer Reports brand report car rankings among the most carefully followed car research has been issued for the current year. And Consumer Reports has decades long reputation as a nonprofit customer testing company and the sample size of over 500,000 drivers where the rankings are highly regarded and widely used by car shoppers. So what Douglas has come up with is that Alfa Romeo performed the worst in the study he said, in fact, according to the researchers, Alfa Romeo slid five spots to land in last place this year due to worsened reliability, though models from this brand are also performed poorly in Consumer Reports road test. He said a total of 32 brands were rated on a scale of 0 to 100. Alfa Romeo's score was 44, which is crazy because Alfa Romeo, especially the Julia, has been winning awards for best car. But you guys have to remember that these awards that Alfa is winning is not in America. Um, so with that said, the last award that we talked about was about a week ago where the 2021 Alfa Romeo Julia wins best car award for the fourth time in five years. But it was by Automotor UND Sport, which is in a German magazine. You guys aren't showing Alfa no love in the U.S. So here's my question. Do you guys agree with the score that Alfa Romeo has gotten in the U.S.? We all know that Alfa has had some reliability issues in the past, but who's to say that they haven't gotten better over the past, what, it's been six, seven years they've been back in the U.S. when the Alfa Romeo 4C came back in 2014, I believe, as a 2015 model. Um, correct me on that. But with that said, what do you guys think? Did it deserve that score? A lot of you guys are Alfa Romeo enthusiasts, and more importantly, a lot of you guys are Alfa Romeo owners. So i like to know, as you've had your Alfa Romeo ownership throughout the years, whether it be one of the newer cars that's shown up or cars in the past, Comparing it to now, to 2020, 2021, what do you think about quality and reliability for these cars? I know that dealer network is always an issue with service, um, but that doesn't necessarily count. What do you guys think about the cars in general? Let me know down below. This one's going to have to be a discussion because obviously it's going to come off like I'm hating. I'm going to link you guys to the article in the description so you guys can read what was read. And you guys, you make your assumptions from there. Um, I'm just showing you guys this and seeing if you guys agree or disagree, um, or and this is giving you guys an attempt or a chance or an opportunity to defend Alpha if you disagree with this score. Um, and if this is a score that you agree with, well, then let us know why. Give us perspective, all right? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy this video, which I know that's very subjective uh, with the topic, <laughs> just give it a like so we can have a bigger discussion once you give it a thumbs up. And once you like it, you know, gets it up in the rankings where more people can see it and we can have a bigger discussion on Alfa Romeo being ranked the worst car brand in America. Now, with that said, if you guys want to help further support your channel, always check the links down below where I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo, just in case you guys want to donate a dollar or two to the channel. You can also check out the Ron's Rise merch, just in case you guys want to get a t-shirt, stickers, hoodies, everything Ron's Rise there. I'm also on Patreon as well, all right? So you can check out my monthly subscription there. And I'm on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, see everything I'm posting. Ferrari, Maserati, and Alfa Romeo that doesn't always make it here to the channel. Now, with that said, make sure you guys subscribe, but click that notification bell so you don't miss one Ron's Rise video. With that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day. We'll talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.